What's going on everybody? I know that there is going to be a bunch of these dropping right at the same time. I know that everybody's going to be on this bandwagon, so why the fuck not? I'll get on it too, or at least I'll get on it before everybody else does, or something. Guys, I just watched Never Hike in the Snow from Womp Stomp Films. Now this is the prequel to Never Hike Alone. For those of you that have not seen Never Hike Alone, you definitely need to check it out. I'll leave the link for it in the description box below as well as the link to Never Hike in the Snow. Now, Never Hike in the Snow is a 2020 fan film in the Friday the 13th franchise. Directed by Vincent DeSanti, who also plays Jason. Starring Tom Matthews as Tommy Jarvis, reprising his role from not only Never Hike Alone, but also from Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. Andrew Lady reprises his role, even though it's only in a small cameo, as Kyle McLeod, our hiker from the first film. Vinny Gustafaro joins us as Sheriff Rick Cologne. You may remember him as Deputy Rick Cologne in Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. Now this movie does follow the, that uh, timeline, the Jason Lives timeline, and it is set three months prior to Never Hike Alone. Now this is as it says, Never Hike in the Snow. It's a Jason film set in the snow. And it follows a photographer, a young guy about 17 years old, by the name of Mark Hill, who is played by Cortland Gordon. He's new in the area, and he stumbled upon, somehow, Camp Crystal Lake via satellite imagery. So he decided to go and check it out for himself. And while he's there filming, of course, guess what happens? He gets attacked and killed by Jason. And this movie kind of follows the aftermath of that. Pros and cons time, guys. The scope of the drone shots in this film are amazing to me. I think it looks fantastic. It's, of course, incredibly well shot, just as Never Hike Alone was. And the quality of this movie is definitely not your typical fan film quality. This is straight-up motion picture type quality. I have to say that the first kill is absolutely awesome. Uh, I don't want to give all the story points away, so I'm just going to say the first kill is awesome. And I'm going to say that the final kill is awesome. In fact, I'm going to try to keep this as spoiler-free as possible, so I'm not going to discuss anything further than what you can find on IMDb. The gore effects are absolutely amazing, and the ending is also absolutely awesome. Now, I only have one con for this film, and it's not really a con on the movie itself. It's just that even though going in I knew that this was going to be shorter than Never Hike Alone, because they said it right from the outset that this was going to be a short and it was going to be the kickoff to a series, that I really, it, it did, it left me wanting so much more. Its runtime is a little more than 30 minutes and I really just wanted more and more. That's really my only con, so Vince, Vincent DeSanti? Definitely waiting for the rest of this. Please make it soon. Uh, some good news for fans of Never Hike Alone, Never Hike in the Snow, and Friday the 13th is that Never Hike Alone 2's IMDb page and Never Hike Alone 3's IMDb page have both already been made. So it looks like they are going to be doing those sooner or later. Now they're both marked for 2020, but I'm pretty sure we probably won't get them both this year. That's just my opinion, though. I can't wait to get my physical copy of this in December. And uh, I plan on watching it probably a lot more times before that comes. And I'm probably going to watch it again here and right now. So, guys, check out the Womp Stomp film, Never Hike in the Snow. But before you do that, if you haven't seen it already, check out Never Hike Alone. I'm also going to leave the link to my original review of Never Hike Alone down in the description box below. This is Bronco Juggalo saying peace.